And my first advice to everyone is don't answer the phone. Don't even pick it up. Let caller ID um, screen the number. Um, you can call them back, listen to the message, see what they have to say. Don't get involved in that conversation in the first place because once they have you, they, they get you on that hook and then just keep wailing and wailing and wailing with your emotion. And um, so that's one of my, my, my uh, top things to say and, and it's great. I, I get feedback from folks up at the Council on Aging. Folks that come up, I had one this morning. She goes, I didn't answer that call. And it was, I know it was a scam. I listened to it and they were, they were um, looking to insurance for a water, for my water um, line into the house or something like that. But um, it, you know, it's, it's great to hear feedback that the folks are, are listening. Um, but I am finding it very difficult to get that information out um, to folks in private homes. You know, when, when, they're up the se when they're up the senior center, um, I can get that information out. You get a lot of folks that, that don't go up to the senior centers or um, they're not in the senior housing where I'll go do talks there and I'll get, you know, a crowd of 60 people. It's great. I can get that information to them. But, you know, the folks that, that don't come to the talks, they miss out on it. And it's so unfortunate. I wish I could just get it out. You know, if there was a way to get it out more to people. If we begged in um, the town that I was working in to send things in water bills, in, in tax bills, et cetera, a flyer or something. Okay. If you have an elder who's living on a $600 a month Social Security with no savings, $200 to be scammed is medication and food for them. The people who I think are the most helpful now, as we're talking about the cab drivers, the people who work at CVS who see these elderly people coming in and trying to buy a $500 Apple gift card, which you know, isn't really something that uh, that person would typically use. Um, people who are working at the banks who are seeing these, you know, an elderly person who comes in every Tuesday to cash the check, and all of a sudden they have this young man with them who we haven't seen before. And what does that mean? Um, so I, I think those frontline people are very important. And you know, when we talk again, when we talk about experts, I think another thing that's really important is expert is one thing, but just people people who care is another. And all, all you have to do to be helpful with scams is just to care. We're dealing with, so they're not playing by the same rules. And so, um, absolutely, you know, you're you're answering that phone. They know you're a. Um, a live human being that's, yeah. that's uh, probably going to answer the phone in the future. 